Hello guys. This is Dr. Rizwan Mirza. Welcome to my channel at Birdologist. Let's discuss about the most reliable and efficient vascular access for hemodialysis. Arteriovenous fistula or AV fistula. It is a surgical connection between an artery and a vein. AV fistula matures over time, resulting in a larger, stronger blood vessel that can handle the repeated needle insertions required for hemodialysis. Preferably should be made when chronic kidney patient has GFR less than 15, or the patient is expected to be needing dialysis within 12 months duration. There are many advantages of AV fistula over other vascular access. Longer durability, AV fistula last longer than AV grafts or catheters. Lower risk of infection, compared to catheters. Better blood flow, AV fistula provide more efficient and higher blood flow rate during dialysis. Let's discuss the types of AV fistula. Radiocephalic fistula, in which connection between radial artery and cephalic vein is made. Brachiocephalic fistula, in which connection between brachial artery and cephalic vein is made. Brachiobasilic fistula, in which connection between brachial artery and transposed basilic vein is made. The process of connecting artery to the vessel is called anastomosis. There are different types of AV fistula anastomosis. Let's discuss them here. There are mainly four major types of AV fistula anastomosis. 1. Side to side. 2. End to end. 3. End to side. 4. Side to end. In side to side anastomosis, side of the artery is connected to side of the vein. In end to end anastomosis, end of the artery is connected to end of the vein. In end to side anastomosis, which is the most common type of AV fistula anastomosis, end of the artery is connected to side of the vein. In side to end anastomosis, side of the artery is connected to end of the vein. There are many exercises for AV fistula that might help in fistula maturation and also strengthen the fistula. Routine exercise of your fistula arm before and after placement improves your access outcome. Prior to dialysis, the exercises will increase vein size and provide vein stability and easier needle placement. Few important exercises include Squeeze ball, in which You have to grip a soft ball or rolled cloth in fistula hand. Allow your arm to hang down beside your body. Squeeze and release the ball in your hand for 5 minutes. Repeat 3 to 4 times a day. Then the second common exercise for AV fistula is clothespin grasp, in which you hold a clothespin in the hand of your access arm. Open the clothespin repeatedly for about 5 minutes. Repeat this exercise 4 to 6 times per day. The third exercise is wrist flexion and extension in which you hold not more than 2 to 5 pounds of weight, for example can of vegetables, in your hand. Make sure your palm and the can are facing up. Curl your wrist slowly up and down. Repeat for 1 minute 3 to 5 times a day. The fourth most common exercise for AV fistula is elbow flexion and extension also called bicep curl in which you hold not more than 2 to 5 pounds weight, for example can of vegetables, in your hand. Make sure your palm and the can, are facing up. Curl your arm slowly up and down. Repeat for 1 minute 3 to 5 times a day. The fifth exercise that helps in AV fistula maturation and strengthen the fistula is fingertip touches in which you touch each finger to the tip of your thumb, opening up your hand after each touch. Touch tips to thumb repeatedly for 5 minutes, 6 times a day. Thinking how do we ensure that the fistula has matured yet or not? Good. We check these points called rule of 6. It includes. Rule number 1. Fistula is at least 6 week old. Rule number 2. Fistula is 6 mm deep. Rule number 3. Fistula is 6 cm in length. Rule number
number 4, fistula has a diameter of 6 mm. Rule number 5, fistula has blood flow rate of 600 ml per minute. Last rule, rule number 6 is to make sure needles are pricked 6 cm apart. Once the fistula is made you need to be very cautious about the access arm. Following are the common precautions that one must take when they have AV fistula access in their arms. 1. Never carry purses, shopping bags, and other heavy items on your access arm. 2. Never wear tight-fitting clothing, bracelets, or elastic bands around your access arm. 3. Do not lift items with your access arm that weigh more than 10 pounds. 4. No cannulations to the arm with AV fistula. 5. Do not check blood pressures from access arm. 6. Do not sleep on your access arm since this can put pressure on the access and may cause it to clot. If you have any question or query about AV fistula, leave a comment. Subscribe to my channel at YouTube at Gertologist and press the bell icon for updated video. You can also follow my page at Facebook and follow me on Instagram.